Hello, I'm Caitlin and I'm a physical therapist and a health promotion specialist for the Army Public Health Center. I wanted to reach out to our community today to talk about the importance of physical resilience. And today I have Yesenia, who is a member of our community, who has tested positive for the coronavirus and is currently on isolation. Hello, Caitlin. Thanks for having me. Yes, it's been nine days since I've been since I tested positive. I'm pretty, I'm feeling pretty good right now, and I'm excited to share my own personal experience with the leaders in the community. Well, I'm sure a lot of people are really excited to hear what your experience has been like. Speaking of that, what have your symptoms been since you were diagnosed with having that coronavirus? So, um, prior to getting diagnosed, I had uh, two days of like, tickling of the throat and sore throat. And then about the day, day three, I started coughing and the coughing just like progressed. Um, I did not have a fever at all, so, um, so that was good. <laughs> But the coughing was really irritating. I had a difficult time breathing. Like when I took a de deep breath, also um, at about day five or six, I lost my sense of smell, which I found interesting. But um, really, the cough is the one that was more irritating for me and that has not, did, did not go with me. Very interesting. Well, today I wanted to talk about three important aspects that people should be thinking about with their health while they are on quarantine or isolation. Uh, we have nutrition, physical activity, and sleep. So I wanna start with nutrition, because a lot of people are hyper-focused on just the caloric value of food, and they're not really looking at the nutrient base of what they're eating. So how has your diet changed with being on isolation? So my diet has not changed at all, but I have to thank the community for that, for reaching out to me, and actually asking me what I need and dropping it off at my door. So um, I've been able to still eat my fruit, yogurt, no milk for breakfast, and I've also been able to utilize all the avocados that are coming to my door um, by making uh, dips, putting it on toast and using it in my salads. And then my dinner has consisted of things such as like baked, baked stuffed zucchini, stuffed, stuffed bell peppers, sweet potatoes, um, that's pretty much um, vegetables. I love vegetables. And a couple of snacks too that I've had, you know, just on the side. Um, sliced oranges, apples, celery, with pe peanut butter, and carrots and nuts. Oh, and I'm so glad you're incorporating all those fruits and veggies in your diet because they can really help to boost your immune system. And there's another resource on APHC's website. It's called Meals in 15 Minutes or Less. And it can just help other people meal plan healthy meals, and especially if they're on a tight budget for time. Yeah, I agree. Um, you know, I feel like my nutrition habit has allowed me to recover a bit faster. I have more energy. I definitely feel a difference in how I, when I eat healthy versus when I eat, don't eat healthy, um, especially during this time of recovery. Yeah, well, now I want to move on to my favorite topic, the importance of exercise. So, <laughs> so you can do resistance training to improve your muscle and bone strength. And there's also cardio activities that you can do for improvement of muscle strength and endurance and your cardiovascular system. Breathing heavy too can also help bring like that gunk up and out from your lungs. Uh, so what have you been doing for exercise? So, you know, I really care about the immune function of exercise, but also I Every day since I've been on quarantine, I've been waking up, I've been opening my doors and my windows just to let the fresh air flow in. Um, but what's, what's good about me is that I have a bike trainer here at home, so I've been able to actually get on it and ride it. Um, initially, I was having a hard time riding more than five miles. I was actually um, having a hard time breathing, but you know, I kept the routine up and was able to start riding a little longer. Um, so thanks to te technology, I've been able to conduct routine exercise every day. Um, and there are so many applications out there that people can utilize that have some amazing workouts. I completely agree. And I would also recommend community members looking at our Garrison's website for further resources on home programs. And APHC has an article called Homemade Fitness, and it gives people some ideas of things that they can do at home without any equipment for exercise. As much as I would love to continue talking about exercise, though, we'll move on to the importance of getting a good night's sleep. 
because this is the time our body has to focus and make repairs, do some maintenance. How's your sleep been? So honestly, I've always had a difficult time sleeping. However, since I've been on quarantine, um, I've had more than eight hours of sleep. I'm literally probably eight to nine hours of sleep. So I think prior to that, my mind is just always so busy. So, um, so what I've done is prior to going to bed, I usually take a warm shower that relaxes me. And then I have this uh, Calm, it's called a Calm app that I play just before I go to bed and it normally just totally knocks me out. Um, so I found that sleep has really helped me on my way to recover. And I feel so much more refreshed in the morning. It's like I'm not even dragging in the morning. It's, it's pretty cool. <laughs> no, and I think those are some great tips that our community members can use to help get a good night's sleep. And I also just love like how positive you've been throughout this whole process. So I think just having a positive attitude is really going to help with dealing with the stress of everything going on right now. I love seeing your Facebook videos of your journey with the coronavirus, and I look forward to seeing more. Thanks. Thanks for talking to me.